This video describes the CHEW test, a technique that I developed to make diagnosis and adjustment of denture occlusion easier. Signs of an occlusal problem with dentures include pain or looseness that occurs only upon chewing, or pain or looseness of the denture that gets worse progressively throughout the day. If you suspect that a denture patient has an occlusal problem, you should ensure that the denture base is properly adjusted before you begin to adjust the occlusion because seating of the denture actually affects the occlusion. The denture base will be properly adjusted when pressure indicating media indicates even contact and when you are able to put heavy pressure directly over the area of the first molars without discomfort. See my video, Complete Denture Base Adjustment, for details. If you can place heavy pressure directly over the first molars of a denture without discomfort, this indicates that the denture base, in and of itself, is not causing any problems. If the patient subsequently feels loosening or discomfort from the denture during function, it follows that this must be a result of tipping or other movement of the denture, since there was no discomfort under static load. The most common cause of tipping or movement of a denture base is occlusion. Typical occlusal problems in dentures are related to the following. Heavy occlusal contacts or occlusal prematurities that make contact in only a few areas can lead to localized pressure, discomfort, or loosening of the denture. Secondly, contacts on inclines are not stable and cause the cusp to either slide down the initial contact incline and or generate tipping, tilting, sliding, or twisting force on the denture, which can result in localized pressure, pain, or loosening. Lastly, contacts located buckle to the residual ridge generate tilting or twisting forces. The ridge can be thought of as a fulcrum point, and the further that force is placed buckle to that point, the greater the fulcrum and the larger the tipping potential there is on the denture. Any of these occlusal problems, heavy contacts, contacts on inclines, or buckle contacts, can occur in either centric or excursive contacts, so check both. When dentures tip, tilt, or twist, identifying the location of problem contacts can be difficult because the movement of the denture causes the articulating paper markings on the problem areas to be less noticeable since the whole denture tends to move away from the applied force. The CHEW test was developed to help make locating these occlusal errors less difficult. The CHEW test should be part of the delivery phase for every new denture or for any denture patient that is experiencing looseness or discomfort during function. Tear, not cut, a cotton roll and make a compressed cotton ball approximately the size of the occlusal table of a premolar. Dampen it. Insert the cotton ball intraorally and instruct the patient not to swallow it, but to move the ball around their arch, chewing to identify each area where they notice denture movement, discomfort, or loosening. It is important to ensure that the cotton ball is the size of the occlusal table of a premolar so that problem areas can be precisely localized to a single tooth when possible. Instruct the patient to stop and keep their jaws together with the ball in place each time they locate a problem area. While the patient is stopped in this position, part the patient's cheeks and lips and note the position of the ball as precisely as possible. This is an area where subsequent adjustments will be made. For each quadrant where the patient has noted a problem, use articulating paper to mark the occlusal contacts in both centric and excursive positions. Make sure that the patient makes prominent rather than mild excursive movements. Examine the areas where the patient previously noted problems with the cotton ball and identify any contacts in these locations that are either on inclines, that are heavy, or are located buckled to the ridge. It is frequently easier and more expeditious to clinically remount dentures and adjust them on an articulator. See my video on clinical remounts. Adjust the problem areas, remarking them repeatedly with articulating paper until undesirable contacts are minimized. Adjust until you have even contacts, centric contacts on flat surfaces, and contacts in the middle of the occlusal table with minimal buccal contacts. Excursive contacts should be distributed with no bumps or jumps, and anterior contacts should not disclude the posterior teeth. The last step in the chew test is critical. After adjustment, ask the patient to take the chew test again and ask if there is any difference, and if so, if it is better or worse. If the patient states that the problem has improved, ask them to rate the improvement on a scale of 0 to 100% better. Under no circumstances, ask the patient if the problem is better. Almost every patient will say that it is better because they know an adjustment has been made. This is the placebo effect. 
Typically, occlusal problems will be eliminated when the improvement is over 90% or when the patient categorically states that the problem has been eliminated. The CHU test is a method to test functional comfort at the dental appointment with the goal of minimizing recurring adjustment appointments. This is one of several videos on denture adjustment. Look for the others on my website or my YouTube channel.